Hello YouTube, how y'all doing? Well, I know y'all been seeing this a couple of days on Dutch's channel and and over here on his blog and and as and on my blog as well. So I'm basically bringing you over here because I think it needs to be said. I really do. And you know. The past of denying that the future is in your face is over. I mean, here is a radar shooting a signal over a period of space in the air with no wires. And you see those lights right there lighting up. It's receiving the power and then transmitting it back out. Now, you know, I don't know what else y'all need to know. And how much more proof you need to know that HARP radar, frequency waves, all of that stuff is highly dangerous to us. Okay? It's very dangerous. There's a lot of things that is very dangerous to us. This is a short video and I'm just going to show you this video from here and hopefully it'll work the way I want it to. <laughs> Technology of wireless power transmission is not without precedent. Significant demonstrations and verifications of electric power transfer efficiency and high power delivery at long range have been accomplished by NASA. The most dramatic of these was the NASA JPL Goldstone demonstration conducted in 1975 in which 34,000 watts of power was safely transmitted over 1.5 kilometers at an efficiency of greater than 82%. It was then, and remains today, what can be called the world record for high-power, long-distance, wireless power transmission. The NASA JPL Venus Station 26-meter antenna, with its 500,000-watt transmitter, was used to perform a 1.54-kilometer wireless power transmission to a rectenna array located on the Goldstone site's collimation tower. 4,590 rectenna elements with high-efficiency gallium arsenide diodes were fabricated at the Raytheon microwave and power tube lab and assembled in rectenna subarrays of about one meter square. From each DC output of the 17 subarrays, approximately one third of the power was routed to a pair of 300 watt lamps. The lamps were arranged in the geometry of the rectenna array and wired to corresponding positions such that illumination of the lights would represent the received power beam at the rectenna. Of the calibrated RF power flux density that fell on the 24 square meter rectenna array on June 5, 1975, 82.5% was collected and converted to direct current output. It can be seen from the results of the successful 54% end to end laboratory demonstration of wireless power transmission and the successful test at Goldstone of sending 34 kilowatts at a mile range that we can confidently predict the performance of a wireless power transmission system whether it be direct or laser or microwave or with relays and this technology should help NASA have successful missions in the future. Okay y'all, y'all saw that okay, you heard it and all of that, alright. Now Underneath here is, is Jesse Ventura with Harp. That's what this is. Okay. Oh. 
That's what this is. And then underneath it, right here, is also Jesse Ventura in the Death Ray. Okay? And it's talking about Nicholas Tesla. Okay? So, basically, I got some other stuff that I'm going to put in this video as well. That's going to shock you. So, I'm done with the video with this part. And I'm going to add this other in. We're going to do some more recording here. So, give me a few. And I'll be back. But you won't know it. Okay, everybody, like I told you, I was going to bring you something special. You know those towers that you see around, cell towers? Well, this is the antennas right here. What you're seeing, 995 megahertz, 850 megahertz, 1800 and something, whatever. These are microwave antennas. Anything above 1300 megahertz is microwave all the way down to the gigahertz 2.4 gig where a microwave is um, but I thought I'd bring this to you just show it to you cause a friend of mine had them and uh, he does that kind of work and I just happened to see him and I thought I'd take a little video of it for y'all and bring it to your attention and show it to you at the same time to show you how far technology has come and how far it's gone and that's one two three it looks like five five or six antennas in one antenna and those things cost about thirty about thirty thousand dollars a piece so there's a lot of money tied up right there okay they go on those towers and they go up on them towers in the triangle and then what I want to show you now is just to bring something to your attention is this this right here is HF frequency. It's not microwave. This is R. This is HF frequency. Now, if HF will do this, what do you actually think is going to happen to the anything else that you use? You can do this with HF with a Tesla coil. Don't you suppose you could probably do the same thing with a microwave? make the antenna super super long but in the same residence so it's a multi-band antenna so it's actually a huge antenna very huge antenna but it really isn't a very huge cause microwave frequencies is kind of a short antenna most of the time but the reason why I'm showing I did all that is cause I want this to end folks I mean I really do want all of the frequency stuff to end. I really do. Uh, all over the world, it's not just our country, it's all over the world's doing this. They're all doing this. They all have the technology. Nicholas Tesla invented this way, way long time ago. Okay? And it's a terrible thing. That's just like our country. We're losing it because of the Act of 1871. And, folks, the only way to end this right here is for us as a people worldwide to stop transmitted signals to light up lights away from where it's at and using harmful signals to create it which they don't need they can do it other ways without traveling through that the only way to get rid of this people is for our country to be sovereign and not a democracy there's a ballpark ballpark Frank's commercial and that guy says in the commercial and some of you seen it a dash of democracy Obama has said it in the State of the Union address, democracy. 
people, when they say they're democracy and they promote the word democracy, they are promoting the Act of 1871 to let you know that you are a slave. They didn't free the blacks back then. They just gave them the same freedoms that they gave everybody else because they enslaved everyone by doing what they done. They gave us to England. We're, we belong to England. Our tax dollars go to England. I know you're going to say I'm crazy. Oh, yeah. Do the research. There's links on my blog you can go to and do the research. You can follow those links to other places to do more research. <clears throat> every radio station, every radio station that takes callers, call in about the Act 1871. Tell them about it. Tell the people that are on the radio until they cut you off. Tell them Alex Jones, Rush Limbaugh, Lex and Terry, um, uh, what's that other channel, uh, Coast to Coast AM, any one of those big channels you can get on, all the religious channels, any radio station you can get on to get it transmitted out through the radio waves, any way you can, someone will hear it, someone will pick it up, someone else will try to push it on their end. We got to get this information out, folks. We got to get it out before the internet's gone. You know as well as I do that YouTube, Facebook, Google Plus, uh, every one of them monitor everything we do to start with, and they're also dragging it completely in the mud right now. And it's been that way for what a week or two now. We got to get the information out the only way we know how, and that's through emails, through anything you can. Push this video, send it to your friends, whatever you can, download it and resend it. That's all I can tell you, folks. The only way to end this is with the Act 1871. The only way to end our problems in our country is also abolish the Act 1871. Everybody else is talking all this craziness, but the craziness starts right here. The only way to fix it is to fix the Act 1871. So much love to y'all. Y'all have a great evening and a great day tomorrow, and have good luck fighting the Act 1871 for our sovereignty.